Hello, this is Mark Dolinar, Applications Engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to be going over how we can use design binders to keep track of all of our design and documentation data for our particular projects. Today we're going to be looking at this particular table that we've designed within SolidWorks. And we're going to assume that we've sent out some cut lists to a couple of suppliers to get quotes. One of the suppliers has actually emailed us back with a quote in an Excel document with all the uh, line item total prices, unit prices, description, and quantities itself. Now I actually want to have this document linked directly with the part that it was quoted with. And to do this, we can actually go ahead and use our design binder to link this particular Excel document directly into this SolidWorks model. For this, I'm going to go over to System Options. Feature Manager, Design Binder, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to Show. When I do this, we'll see that we now have a Design Binder appear in our Feature Manager design tree. Inside that Design Binder, we actually have a Design Journal. The Design Journal is going to be a great way to keep track of all of our design and documentation. In this case, it comes standard with the file name, the description, we'll just go ahead and call it Shop Table. And for the material, I'll go ahead and label it AISI 1020 steel. Now we can go ahead and add any other information that we would want, or we can go ahead and exit out, and SolidWorks will automatically save our design journal document. However, I still want to link my Excel document directly into my table part. To do this, I'm going to right click on our design binder folder, go ahead and add an attachment, when we do this, an Add Attachment dialog box now appears. We'll go ahead and browse for this design document. And when we do this, we'll see that SolidWorks automatically links this Excel document directly into this part. Now we can continue modeling inside of SolidWorks, and if we ever need to go ahead and revise our quote, we can just double click directly on our service quote document. It'll bring up our Excel page, and we can go ahead and make any changes that we would like to that particular document. I'd like to thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.